Hi guys, welcome back to the Crafty B channel. How are you all doing? Hope you are all doing fine. So today we are going to be learning how to cut and sew a female trouser pants with pockets and a zipper fly and then a waistband. So if today is your first time of viewing this channel, you are welcome. Please do me a favor by hitting the red subscribe button and also click on the notification bell to be the first to be updated every time we upload a new video. So if you want to learn how to do the pattern for this trouser, I have the link down below the description box. So you can go and check it out to watch that one first or to watch this after and watch that one for more understanding of how to draft a female pants. So without wasting much of your time, let's get on with the video. So as you can see, I've already cut out the fabric with the pattern I made in my previous video. So I went ahead and cut two pieces for the back panel and two pieces for the front panel. So I went ahead and cut the band. So you can see that the pattern is on fold. So I have to cut the fabric on fold. So I will be drafting the band again because I lost the footage while filming this video. So I will try my best to illustrate with a paper to you how I cut the band. I also cut two pieces of the pocket and then two pieces of the pocket facing. Then I went ahead and transferred the dart on the fabric for both the front and the back. So next, I transfer the zipper fryer on the fabric. You can see where the zipper fryer ended. I'm going to stitch from there to the end. Then also where the zipper will be, I will just do hand stitch there. And later, when I fix the zip, I will lose it. So guys, I've been illustrating with this pattern paper to show you how I cut the band for the trousers. To do that, on this pattern paper, I drew a horizontal line and I'm going to mark my waist circumference, which is 38 inches. I'm going to mark it on this line and then I'm going to square the lines together. Then I will go ahead and divide the 38 inches by 2 and then mark a line. Then after I'll square it out, I'll add 3 inches for the band overlap. Then I'll add half an inch along the square for sewing allowance. But on the down part of this line, the horizontal line, I'm going to cut the unfold. Where I added the half inch allowance is going to be the sewing allowance for the band. And the down part that I didn't add the half an inch is to cut unfold. So that's how I came about with my waistband. So let's get to the sewing now. To start with, if you want your trouser to be bandless, you will leave it and either you cut a facing or you can use a bias to conceal the edges. But if you want a high waist trouser, you just add your band to it. Because I'm making this a high waist trouser so i'm not going to cut anything but if you are going to place a band for a normal trouser you have to cut off the band height on the trousers on the waistline by folding it to the height of the band you want to fix and cut it off after cutting this off the new band is going to replace the folded the new band is going to replace the inches that you cut off from the trousers so let's get started i'm going to put the two front pieces together that's the right side facing the right side so i'm going to start stitching from the end of the zipper fryer towards the end of the crotch line and after that i'm going to open the zipper fryer in two but if you cannot it's difficult for you to open you can take your scissors and and give it a notch at that point where the flyer ends and then you can you open it up so the next thing i'm going to do is to get my zip 
and then you are going to fix the zip on top of the zipper fryer then you are going to hold on the left and sew the zipper on the left fryer but it should not make sure that it doesn't you don't stitch on the main fabric you only stitch on the zipper fryer and i'm just going to do that on my sewing machine and come back to show you the next step so i'm done sewing the one part of the zip and i went ahead and top stitch it i open it and then top stitch it now i'm going to close the zip and then i overlap it with the right one and then sew on top and when i'm getting towards the end of the flap i will cuff it like as you normally see in front of trousers how they sew the flap i'm going to give it that curve on the front and come back and show you so after sewing the zipper flyer this is what it looks like okay it looks neat and nice now my zipper fryer is ready next i'll be attaching the pockets i'll be i will place the right side of the pocket facing the right side of the front panel and i'm going to sew with half an inch allowance from this end from the waist all the way to this end and after i'm going to notch both the pockets so that it will help to lay it flat when turning it inside out so i'm going to take it to my machine and go and sew it and come back now i'm going to top stitch the pocket towards the pocket side like so not on the main fabric i'm going to be doing this to the other side of the pocket so after top stitching it this is what i have so next i'll be sewing the dart once i'm done with the dart i will go ahead and get my back panel and sew the dart and after i give it a good press and also put my back panel right side facing right side and join the crotch line and sew along the crotch line after that i will go ahead and get the back pocket lining and place it on the pocket with the right side facing the pocket with the right side facing the pocket i've attached already and wrong side facing up and sew them together like so and attach to the other side of the pocket too so after finishing attaching the pocket facing this is what i have so next i'll be joining the pockets like so to my main fabric so as you can see my pocket is ready and this is how it looks like after sewing it so the next thing I'm going to do is to bring the front and the back panel together with the right side facing each other and match all the points I marked initially where I notched. When everything is in place, then you will be joining the sides with half an inch on both sides. So this is what I have after joining the sides. After joining the sides, you then put the cross seam together, then that's the inseam together, then sew with half an inch from this end to this end. So this is how it looks like. But make sure that you check and fit the trousers on your body to make sure everything is perfectly fit before going ahead and adding your band. So this is my band and I went ahead and ironed the interfacing on it and iron half inch in for the sewing allowance then after I fold it in half and iron it so as you can see this is my interfacing I use I'm short of the other interfacing it's the same thing but this one is for like band if the band is bigger band you use the whole length but if it's a sh shorter band like two inches one and a half inches you divide this interfacing into two and then attach it now i'm attaching the band on my trousers now i'm attaching the band on my trousers 
by placing the right side of the band to the wrong side of the trousers and I'm starting on this side by leaving some extra inches extension so I will start stitching from this end to this side after sewing it all around we have an inch sewing allowance so I will be joining this end and after I turn it out I'm going to be top stitching it on the good side of the trousers that means I'm overlapping the band to the right side of the trousers and top stitch it sometimes you can start from a good side of the band facing the good side of the trousers and then fold it and sew it and fold it in and another way of doing that is for you to get a ditch hole where the stitches will not be showing in front but my own method i sew the band from the wrong side and brought it to the right side of the trouser and top stitch it so after stitching the band this is how it's looking like and you can see the overlap looking neat and nice you see the overlap is inside and it's looking neat you can fix a button or a hook and eye on that overlap of the front so what i'm going to do next is to hem the ankle of the trousers so guys i have come to the end of today's tutorial and my trouser is looking elegant classic and stylish very nice so amazing family we have come to the end of today's video so guys if you like this video then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and share my videos to your families and friends thank you for watching and see you in my next video bye